the untrained eye, these are just a bunch of bones, which they are, but there's a lot more going on. These bones are part of a scientific investigation into the mysterious lives of a group of whales known as the beaked whales. This is the largest collection of beaked whale skeletons in the world. There are 21 species and more than half of those live in New Zealand waters. But very few people have seen one alive. The thing with whales and doing research on whales is that we're absolutely dependent on stranded whales to be able to gather our information. Many of these species, particularly beaked whales, are never seen at sea or never seen alive. So we have to wait for those whales to hit our beaches before we can go out and examine them. Some people in the past make determinations about what they think uh, a specimen might be. So they get a, an animal and they decide it's a particular species. But that may be based only on the information that they have available to them at that point in time. And through time, as we accumulate new specimens and we have new technologies to apply to them, we can make new determinations about those specimens and potentially even find new species or reclassify species in different ways. There's no better example than this. Today, this is known as the spade-toothed whale, with the scientific name Mesoplodon travisii. But it wasn't always known as this. It took 130 years and the discovery of two skulls before the true identity of this whale was really known. This jawbone with the two teeth was all that was known back in 1872 when the specimen was collected from the Chatham Islands. In 1873, Hector, the guy that started our National Museum, he believed it to be a particular kind of whale. In fact, he believed it to be something called a strap tooth whale. Gray, a scientist over in the UK, went, no, yes, I don't think so. I think it's probably something else, something different, something new. And he said, I'm going to give it a new species name, and did. So he effectively called it Mesoplodon travisii. This specimen was found back in 1872. Not another specimen was found, and really, until the 1950s. Another skull was found off Chile in the 1980s, and we were able to link those three specimens using genetics and those two skulls using morphology. So we knew we were dealing with the same species. Only then we were able to go, hey, wait a minute. Back in 1874, Gray, sitting in his office in the UK, was right. So because of that, we had to resurrect the species name Mesoplodon travisii. One day, hopefully, we'll get to see a live specimen of this, of this animal and be able to uncover all sorts of new information. Bones kept safe here at Te Papa will be preserved for generations to come. With new technology and the arrival of more specimens, in the future we'll know a lot more about these bones. Remember, it took 130 years to solve the identity crisis of the spade-toothed whale. In the future, who knows what discoveries we'll make?